I would like to say uh, that it is some kind of honor uh, to sit uh, here today with you and talk uh, because uh, I didn't have uh, that opportunity before to meet some uh, Inuit and uh, uh, you are a part of uh, that ancient people. Uh, what uh, can you say uh, to us about images which you put on paper from your inner self and your tradition and archetypes and modern life? Yeah, um, a lot of my work um, is uh, um, it, uh, it involves um, uh, a lot of uh, my people, um, uh, Inuit uh, in uh, uh, Arctic Canada, and a lot of my work is also uh, with the uh, Arctic wildlife. Uh, for instance, the wolf, um, and uh, and everyday um, traditional um, uh, Inuit. Uh, 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 life that we we that, that led before uh, we will move to a community um, um, in uh, eastern arctic um, Lapin Island, um, Iqadwit. and many of my work um, uh, began um, uh, because uh, i was trying to um, um, uh, interpret um, the changes that were happening um, with our people uh, when we were moved into a, a community a settlement instead of um, um, moving around on the land like uh, nomads, um, hunters, because that's what we, we were in. Um, we were moved to Iqadwit um, uh, in the early 50s from the land because the, um, uh, the federal government decided that um, all these school-age uh, Inuit children had to go to school. And therefore, all families from all over uh, northern Canada were moved to communities. And altogether, there are um, uh, 52 um, uh, communities, Inuit communities, uh, in uh, Ar uh, Arctic um, Canada. My work um, involves that change that we were going through. And uh, I started doing cartooning because um, I wanted to uh, also to make um, our, our readers, Inuit, um, to better understand the change that was happening with our people. And uh, for that reason, uh, I, I became an accidental uh, cartoonist that way. Because I started working for uh, Inuit Today magazine, uh, which was a national um, uh, Inuit uh, magazine, mostly directed towards um, our people. And uh, very often, uh, we have, many of our people had no idea about politics, uh, about government, uh, about um, about law, about medicine. So the magazine tried to uh, make them understand better about uh, about all these uh, things that they never dealt with before on the land. I must ask you, how do you make connection with uh, Sasha Alexander Zograf? 
and uh, come here to Panchovo because I think that's a very interesting story to tell. Yeah. Uh, what happened was uh, about 20 years ago um, um, when I first um, got a letter from uh, Sasha, um, um, he mentioned that um, he had um, gone to a used bookstore in Belgrade uh, and uh, saw this old uh, uh, Inuit Today uh, magazine that I used to work for in the, some pile in the, in the bookstore and uh, saw my uh, cartooning and, uh, and, and decided he wanted to uh, somehow contact me. Uh, uh, he had no idea where, where I was, uh, didn't know my address and he started asking people uh, uh, he knew how to somehow get in touch with me. Uh, uh, and uh, that's how we started uh, uh, corresponding over the years. And, um, and of course, uh, we, uh, we had hoped to uh, someday meet um, one day uh, in the future. This was a chance for me to uh, come to, uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, Belgrade and this town. How do you say it again? Uh, Panchevo. Panchevo. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and I was, uh, I was really uh, very happy about that because uh, finally I'm meeting uh, Sasha and he has also um, sent me his work over time. Uh, a lot of his uh, um, work over time and I'm a curious man like him. We're, we're artists, we're always curious about things. Uh, uh, never ending curiosity that we have uh, <coughs> about, uh, about art and, and about uh, society. I think uh, anywhere you go in the world, uh, you have the same uh, sort of uh, uh, hopes and dreams about life on Earth, and um, it's all about survival and um, and, and being able to uh, um, be happy, or in order to survive um, this mundane life that we lead. Otherwise, we try to somehow um, always uh, uh, to to make. Um, to make us uh, feel that we belong in this world, and and when you see uh, hear people from uh, anywhere in the world, uh, they have the same hopes and dreams, uh, struggles uh, about uh, everyday life, and, uh, and very often um, uh, I was curious about about this country because of the uh, the uh, the war that happened, the civil war, and um, uh, having seen the um, Olympics previously, and then. And dealing with the um, um, the uh, NATO bombings and so on, and I was curious to see how uh, how um, this country is surviving uh, uh, at the moment. <laughs>